Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Cynthia Ortiz and today we'll be focusing on true and false statements. Before we get into the lesson, let's remember a few terms. Addition number sentence. An addition number sentence is an expression that uses numbers, a plus sign, and an equal sign. Here I have 3 plus 2 equals 5. This is an addition number sentence. Subtraction number sentence. A subtraction number sentence is an expression that uses numbers, a minus sign, and an equal sign. Here I have 5 minus 3 equals 2. So for this lesson, we will be focusing on subtraction number sentences and deciding if they are true or false. If you would like to focus on addition number sentences and deciding if they are true and false, go ahead and check out that video. So for this lesson, we will look to see if our subtraction number sentences are true or false. Remember, true is a fact. That means it is real. False, not a fact. It is not real. Let's go ahead and start with our first example. 8 minus 2 equals 5. Is this statement true or false? Let's go ahead and subtract 8 minus 2. If we get 5, the statement is true. If we get something else, the statement is false. Ready? I have eight fingers and I am going to put down two. Eight minus two. One, two. My answer is five, six. Eight minus two equals six. It is not five. That means that this statement is false. Very good. 6 minus 4 equals 2. So I'm going to go ahead and take 6, subtract 4. If I get 2, my statement is true. If I get anything else that is not 2, my statement is false. Ready? 6 fingers, put down 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2. 6 minus 4 is 2. That means that my statement is true. 10 minus 7 equals 3. Let's go ahead and subtract 7 from 10. If I get 3, my statement is true. If I get something else, my statement is false. Ready? I have 10 fingers. Let's put down 7. I have 5 on one whole hand. 6, 7. How many fingers do I have left? 1, 2, 3. 10 minus 7 equals 3. This statement is true. 2 equals 10 minus 9. Now something that I've noticed is that students sometimes get confused when they see the answer in front of the subtraction number sentence. Now what you can do is just flip this around. What this says is 10 minus 9 equals 2. It's the same thing. They just put them on different sides of the equal sign, okay? So, is 10 minus 9 2? Let's go ahead and check. I have 10 fingers, and I am going to put down 9. I have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. How many do I have left? Just 1. So, this is not 1. This statement is false. Good job. Okay, ready for the next problem? It says 5 minus 3 equals 1. Let's go ahead and use pictures to help us solve this problem. There are 5 pumpkins at the pumpkin patch. I decide to take 3 home. 1, 2, 3. Do I have 1 pumpkin left? No, I have 1, 2. 5 minus 3 equals 2. Not one, so this statement is false. Awesome job. Okay, our next problem says three minus two equals zero. So I have three dogs playing at the park. Two dogs decide it's time to go home and take a nap. One, two. Do I have zero left? Remember, zero means none. So are there no dogs left? That is not true. There is one dog left. So this statement is also false. Very good. Ready for our word problem? It says, there are nine ants on the picnic table. 
five of them crawl away. There are four ants left. Is this statement true or false? Well, first, I know that there are nine ants on the table. And how many crawl away? Five. Okay, so let's go ahead and use our magnet counters to figure this problem out. I have nine ants. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five of them crawl away, so let's go ahead and take away five. One, two, three, four, five. Do I have four ants left? One, two, three, four. Yes, I do. Therefore, this statement is true. Awesome job. Okay, ready for our last problem? It says, there are seven kids playing on the slide. Three kids stop playing. There are five kids left. So first, I know that there are seven kids playing, right? How many stop playing? Three. I want to know if there are five kids left. Let's go ahead and use our magnet counters to help us solve this problem. Seven kids playing. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three kids stop. Let's take away those three. One, two, three. Do I have five kids left? One, two, three, four. No, I do not. I have four kids left. Seven minus three equals four, not five. Therefore, this statement is false. Very good. All right, guys, so that ends today's lesson on true and false statements. I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it very useful. Please don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe for more learning videos. Bye, guys.